to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and happy Sunday. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. I want to appreciate you so much to the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to our YouTube channel. May God bless you so much for your great effort and support as you water the same boat with the members. I want us to go straight to whatever is taking place in Western Kenya again because this is not the first time I'm analyzing the Western politics but there is a very scared move we are now seeing from the third in command the speaker of the National Assembly Mr. Moses Masika Wetangula these people have not been in good term with the Transoya governor Natembea and uh, Natembea is saying, uh, is having this, why George Natembea's Tawe movement is giving Wetangula sleepless night. That is whatever is coming from the NTV. Why George Natembea's Tawe movement is giving Wetangula sleepless night. You will be shocked on whatever Natembea is uh, Wetangula is planning to join Natembea. And uh, Wetangula is trying with any means to endorse Susan Nakumisha as the governor, pre go governorial running mate 2027, I mean. And uh, according to me, on this new challenge, it will be like a uh, uh, walking park to. Mr. Natembea to defeat Nakomecha. Could this be the reason why we are seeing these people are trying to save money and telling doctors that there is no campaign, there, there is no money to pay doctors? Or could this be the president force together with Wetangula? We are going to find it more. And uh, in this scared move we are now seeing in Western Kenya, Things are not okay, no promises have been made as Natembea is traveling to try his best and fulfill the promises they have made. Let him understand the smell of tear gas is the smell of freedom. Ajo Ivo, Wakati Ewa and a Pigwa tear gas and a Toma Magamazi, sees it Nanusa freedom pegake. Amanam Nagani, the darkest hour is before dawn. What you like him at the level of my name is the Kia Sasa, who composes in Africa. Name is Taki Murudi Yumazino. Jamiso does a transoya Musita Lanue, the Lambia Kale Yusuko Kitoro. Wale wakalamba wanajukia mimi kabisa Hata wakwa wengine wakwa na wanani wananiangalia sahi Wale kama wanajukia mimi ni mkale kabisa wakwa nanyo ayudi ya mkale kuja hapa Wale wapike simu lako kwa ruto na mimi ni pike The Tawi movement making Wetangula to have a sleepless night Because as you believe on whatever we say And you always want it to be put in action so I have just displayed that clip for you to understand what is taking place in Western Kenya. But I'm seeing Wetangula have now decided to fight Natembea. And he's is fighting Natembea with enemies to ensure that his preferred candidate succeed. Remember Nakumisha tried vying for women rep 2022 with Ford Kenya, but he failed. If we recall, she failed. So 
vying for gubernatorial seat is like is trying to just buy time rather than to work for the people in the country and believe me ladies and gentlemen that this move of Nakumisha is a signal that she is not going to retain his, uh, her, her, her docket as a cabinet secretary of health under Kenya Kwanza administration that is whatever we are now seeing and she is busy targeting that move with the force of Moses Masika Wetangula as the western leaders are coming out and calling Wetangula Natembea to sit down and talk to each other the Tawe movement joins western as 2027 poll clouds begin to gather and we are seeing Natembea there as cloud still emerge who is propelling this apart from Wetangula and Akumisha I want you to see this. I want you to understand it. Now, seen through sharper political competition lenses, the gathering storm has been sparked off by the pro propping up of Health CS for 2027 as part of a large political scheme. Wetangula is positioning the ram Remelcius Susan Nakumisha for the Transoia governor's seat in the next general election. Who is propelling this? It means that the third in command is now in a mission to ensure Natembea will go home. Is it going to be possible? How? will be done. Mm -hmm. So this is not about me and I don't want it to be about me. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to support anybody else who will come and articulate this one better than myself mm -hmm. uh, and have more influence than myself. Uh, in, in, in leadership, Western is in Takana Kwani Harambe. We all contribute from Vega to Busia to Kakamega mm -hmm. to Guoma to Transoya. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are saying once, once as lawyers, if we are able to achieve what I'm talking about and get what's right for uh, hours without blackmail, without being told do this and that before I do this, mm -hmm. I'm sure even the small comments like the Elmolo and the Ogek will also get the right for share. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get more than what is entitled to us because that's also unfair. We just want to get what we are entitled to as, as, as the Nuyen nation, as others also get theirs. Mm -hmm. We believe that somebody who's getting our share, we believe that somebody who say, ah, Jana, you what? They're not even serious, and then they go sharing this big position, so that we, we are left with somebody, you know, bragging that I met somebody, procurement of that came, sir, I met mm -hmm. some small, small things that don't really have, have no significance to the community. They don't benefit the wider part of the, of the village. And then when you see somebody, yeah. but you don't let them work, they become your slaves. Mm -hmm. So that when you are going to a, to a funeral, they all accompany you. You find even a CS of health. People are dying. The doctors on strike. But she's fighting in a funeral in Transway. Mm. Where are the priorities? Because your party leader is that. They have your old troop. Because you must show your loyalty. Mm. Mm. That you can, you can assist and become a peer. Mm. But please let me work. Because mm. I, the moment you become a peer or a CS, you are now serving the nation, the Republic of Kenya. It's not even about you as an individual from Bungoma or from Transway. Mm. Mm. Clip I've just displayed. Natembea is trying to elaborate what is taking place in Western Kenya. What should be done, considered, be it on the issue of development, be it on the issue of solving a disagreement among themselves. Natembea is coming out and condemning the awkward action which is now being done by the leaders. It is very true that the Western leaders, Moso, Moses Wansika Wetangula, who is now calling himself the kingpin, in Western Kenya, have lost direction and is trying with enemy to fight their colleagues in order to have his own political interest agenda to the people whom they know they endorsed. But I'm very much aware and sure 
that there's someone from the national government, the prominent leader, who is propelling this. Because as you believe, ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a country where when you speak the truth, they will try to remove you. They will try to dethrone you. They will try to ensure you are being abducted. So that is what we want to analyze. What is happening in Western Kenya on this secret move. Before I do more analysis on this, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this golden chance to thank you so much for your great support because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as of now. Thank you and be blessed. Kindly consider to give this video a thumb up like. After you've liked this video, watch, share and give us your opinion. And to the members, I want to adore you and appreciate you so much for your great support. We are only remaining with few numbers of which I believe at the end of next week we will do away with 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much if you share this channel to reach for many people across the country. Thank you and be blessed. Wetangula is bringing another political shockwave in Western Kenya. And whatever is doing now, you won't believe. I will prefer Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of the National Assembly, to sit down with the Natambea and have a resolution on how to bring development in Western Kenya. This movement means that Wetangula loves himself, is after leadership. Even as if he is the third in command at the National Assembly, he is going to fail us when it comes to constitutional amendment where the MPs always sometimes, some of them try to come out with a resolution on how to solve the problem. So these are the factors which is now affecting our country. We want to find out why do you think Wetangula preferred Madam Susanna Komisha to be the next governor 2027 rather than Natembea. Number one, these people have realized that Natembea is a no-go zone. That is why they are coming out with this clueless move to dethrone Natembea. You've looked on how Natembea is saying, Tawe movement, so on and so on. Natembea have been speaking the truth. He have been exposing how these leaders have been working in the government for decades of years. But nothing has been done. So many things have been neglected. But since Natembea took the governor seat, he have actually tried to change the political move in Western Kenya. So these people are reluctant and they don't want who is disturbing them. After they have been given that position, right now we are seeing Nakumisha is a whole cabinet secretary, CS. The member CS is a prominent leader, passing with full security, good vehicles, full day, doctors, family and so on and so on. She is being guaranteed. Likewise to the third in command, Moses Masika Wetangula. Very sad on this awkward picture. So that is why they want to dethrone Ford K uh, they want to dethrone Natembea. Now, Wetangula have now decided to fight his colleague. Very bad. This kind of politics should be prohibited in our country should be stopped in various moves. So that is why these people are fighting each other. They are only after leadership. But according to the side of George Natembea, he is not after leadership, but to deliver promises to the people in Western Kenya. And I believe you've listened to whatever he's saying at Spice FM, how he's explaining himself, whatever to be done, and whatever to be corrected in this Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very shocking news and let's see and wait if Wetangula is going to succeed. With me, I'm seeing Natembea is going to defeat Madam Susa Nakumisha very early in the morning and Nakumisha is not going to retain her position as a cabinet secretary of health comes 2027 God willing, 
because that is the move we are now seeing she's aiming to vying for gubernatorial seat in Transoya. Western politics is still raising or gaining momentum. Let's see and wait whatever is going to take place. This marks the end of our analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and may you have a blessed day as you hope to meet on another political analysis. Happy Sunday.